Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video, and today I'll be doing how to download and play Backyard Football 2002 on Windows. This will be a two-part video today, because I'll be showing you a couple of different ways of how you can download and play this game on Windows. For the first part, you won't need any software, and for the second part, you will need to download Scum VM, which is the way I recommend, because it's easier to return to the game and play again, because there will be less steps involved. But I'll be showing you how to do both today in this video. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to go into your browser. And then you want to go to the website internetarchive.org or archive.org. Both will take you to the same website. Okay, once you're there, in the middle of the screen, you'll see a search bar. And in that search bar, you want to search for Backyard Football 2002. Press Enter. Okay, once you're on the next screen, you'll see a few different options here. You'll need to select the one with the most downloads here. It's 13K as of right now. But select this one because this one will give you the ISO image that we'll need. So once you select that one, and you get to this screen, just scroll up a bit until you see that on the right side there's download options and it has this ISO image. You want to click the blue button here and download that. And it should take a minute or two. It's not that big of a file, but once it is complete, we can leave this page. And then we'll need to go into our file explorer. Okay, once it's open, we need to navigate to our downloads tab. And then we should see this backyard football ISO image. So once it's there, we need to right click on it and then select mount. You get this pop up and just press open. Okay, once it's open, it'll open up a new drive for you. And inside of that drive, you'll see these files here. The only one you need to locate is this auto run feature. So double click on this auto run. And you should get this pop up window. And you'll select play. And then the install wizard will pop up. So on this first screen here, we'll just hit next. And here I chose compact, but you can read and choose which one is best for you. And you just select that one in the next screen. You'll select next. The files will copy. And then on this screen, just select finish. And now the game is ready. Just that easy. So I'll load up and make sure it works before we do the second part of this video. I know some people haven't been having trouble with this one. Specifically, if you tried to use the file from my abandonware, I think that one is corrupted. But this file here from archive.org should work. So let's make sure it works. Okay, well, so you're working fine. On the other one, you wouldn't be able to get this far. So this one is good. And remember, whenever you close out this game and you want to reopen it, you need to do the same steps and mount and open that file again and make sure that drive is open in order for you to play again. So now I'll be showing you the other option how to play this game using ScumVM. So you can go ahead and open your browser back up. And then we'll need to go to the website scumvm.org. Okay, once you're there, over here on the right-hand side, you'll see a Downloads tab. You can select there. And then on the next screen, you'll see this big orange rectangle. And you need to select that to download ScumVM. And it shouldn't take very long. But once it is finished, 
You need to go into your file explorer. And then over to, again, to your downloads. And then once you're on your downloads, you should see this scum VM download. Double click to open it. Okay, once it's open, you get this pop up. Sit okay for English or whatever language you need. This screen hit next. Here it tells you it was folder it was saving to. Just hit next and then it'll create a desktop shortcut for you. You'll just hit next and then install here. Okay, once it's done installing, you hit finish. You may get this pop up window. Just close it out. We won't need this. And once you close this, the app should open up in the background. Okay, it does. Okay, this is what Scum VM looks like. And this is where we will add the backyard football folder to later in order to play the game. So we can minimize this. Close this out. And that is what the Scum VM icon will look like. So now I'll switch back over to my main laptop. So again, go into File Explorer. We need to. Open that back our football file again that we downloaded. So over to downloads. And here we need to right click on it and hit mount. And then open. Okay, the disk drive will open up again. And now we need to navigate into this game folder here at the top. So double click there and then you should see all of these files inside. But there are only need be a few files that we'll need in order to play the game. So what you want to do now is right click on your desktop. And then go over to new. And then folder. And we'll make a new folder. And we'll name that Backyard Football 2002. However you want to name it. I did mine this way. And then over in these files, we need to find the files. Football 2002A. B, AT0, AT2, AT3, and AT4. Okay, on the screen. So we need to hold control and then select all of these. Release control. Then left click and drag those into that folder. Like that. Make sure they go into your folder and not on your desktop. We're going to have to do this step again. But once that's done, we can open back up Scum VM. And then we want to open. Okay. As soon as it's open, over here on this right hand side, you'll see the add game tab. We need to select there. And then navigate to our desktop where we made that backyard football folder. And then we need to locate it. Mine is here. And then we need to select choose. You'll get this pop up window. And just hit OK. And then there, your backyard football game will go there. And just make sure you select it. And then press start over in this right-hand side. And the game will run. Don't worry about this error message. It just says that because we didn't add every single file. But we don't need those files in order to play the game. We'll just make sure that it works. Skip through all of this. Okay, there we go, it's working. So, yeah, like I said, this is the way that I recommend because all you need to do next time you want to play this game is just open up Scum VM, select the game, and press start. And it's ready, and I feel like that's so much easier than going through all the disk drive stuff. But there you go. That's how you download and play Backyard Football 2002 on Windows. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll try my best to help. But again, thank you for watching.